Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levitt here and I'm at the office, just finished up my day. Today was a day I saw two different people with a problem that I think can help to illustrate a little point about inflammation and also teach you a little bit of Latin, a little Latin lesson here for you. So two different people that I saw today had a problem called edema. Edema is a fluid accumulation, usually in the lower extremities, in the legs and feet. The kind of thing that when you take your socks off, it leaves an impression or a line. And in more severe cases, you can kind of push your thumbprint right into someone's shin there and, and, and it'll leave a divot for quite some time. Edema, again, is fluid accumulation in the legs and in the feet. It can be elsewhere too. Now there's all sorts of causes and reasons why people might have edema, and that's not really what we're here to talk about. But both of the people that had this problem today told me that they had inflammation in their lower extremities, in their legs and feet. And I pointed out to them that that wasn't exactly true. It was pretty close. What they actually had was swelling, enlargement of the area. And that's where the Latin lesson comes in. As you know, many medical words are described with Latin terminology. And the term inflammation requires four different aspects that are defined or described using Latin words. So here are the four aspects. I'm going to do my best with my Latin pronunciations here. The first one is rubor, then dolor, then calor, and then tumor. Let's go through them one by one. Rubor, that's redness. Redness is one aspect of inflammation. Dolor, D-O-L-O-R, that's pain. That means pain. So we have redness, we have pain. Tumor, T-U-M-O-R, sounds like tumor, is swelling, enlargement. And then calor, C-A-L-O-R, is heat. So redness, swelling, pain, and heat. Those are the four main criteria that define inflammation. And if you just have one of them, just swelling, that does not constitute inflammation in its true sense. So both of these individuals had edema or swelling in the lower extremities, but not technical inflammation. So there's the difference between swelling and inflammation and a little Latin lesson for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Take good care.